Multitasking gets more done is a lie and it will completely ruin the goals you have set for 2024. In this video, I'm going to share with you something that you can do that's better than multitasking and it will help you accomplish your goals and increase the chance of you changing your life. But before we get into that, let's talk about exactly why multitasking is bad in the first place. I'm sure you all have been on one or two job interviews in your life and you're probably familiar with the interviewer asking, so are you good with handling competing tasks? All that they're literally asking you is if you're good at multitasking. I know personally, my most recent interview They asked me, are you good with competing tasks? From experience, I know for a fact, if you're in customer service, one of the key job responsibilities that they require is for you to multitask. I know from personal experience, me and I recently started a contract role. It's a work from home role. Primarily it was on the phones, but now I assist with the online chat. When they asked me, so how are you with competing tasks? Of course, like I wanted a job, right? So I said, you know, I'm very well at multitasking, but baby, I did not know what their version of multitasking was. I mean, their version of multitasking is multitasking to the 10th degree. I did not know. So let me tell you, let me tell you exactly what I mean, right? So some jobs, their idea of multitasking, particularly the job that I'm working for now, with me being a chat agent, I'll explain exactly what happens. So you can get a chat, right? So everybody is like, okay, yeah, I can type. Like that's easy. Once the customer is chatting online, go going to the company website, they have a question. The only thing I'm, I'm responsible for is responding to this customer's question, whatever they need, right? No. If you have ever chatted in online with a company on their website, I'm here to tell you that person nine times out of 10 is just not assisting you. So with me being a chat agent, I'll tell you exactly what the day in the life of my life looks like right now. So right now I can get up to three chats at a time, y'all. It literally, the chat comes in like the phone gets ringing. It's like ding, 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 ding. And during the busy season, I work with Pandora, Pandora online chat. I'm just going to tell you what it is. And most recently, right, we just had Christmas. So it was extremely busy. I mean, three chats at a time. And I'm telling you what is it you're required to. If the customer wants a refund, you're required to do a refund. You're required to create a return label if they're wanting to send products back to us. You're required to document the case. You may be required to send an email. These are three customers you're talking to or chatting with the exact same time. And on top of that, they want you to build rapport and ask the customer, hi, are you having a great day? Oh, that's a lovely piece of jewelry. Oh, are you purchasing for any special occasion? All while I am trying to create a lost claim form in the background, I'm trying to create a return label. I'm trying to make sure I'm refunding the correct order. Y'all multitasking and then on top of that right so of course it's it's a job so you have metrics and the metrics we'll have weekly meetings about metrics and things like that particularly quality and with it being three separate customers that you are assisting at the same time it's inevitable you increase the likelihood of human error right like i'm, I'm just going to be honest I, i've made a few mistakes i have one, once I refunded the, the wrong customer and I told him, I said, you know what? I made a mistake. I, it was extremely busy. One customer is saying, hello, are you still there? The next customer is saying, I want a refund. I need a return label. The next customer is just expressing their dissatisfaction with the, with the company. And you have to attend and be attentive to all three of these chats as well as thoroughly document the case at the end. It was driving me insane. So let me know in the comments too, if the job that you're currently working in is the main priority of your job is to multitask and let me know how you're doing with multitasking. I know from my experience, I thought that I was a very, very good multitasker, but when I tell you I'm in a role right now that requires multitasking to the 10th degree, if you, if your version of multitasking, I'm telling you, come work for where I'm working and you'll be like, oh baby, I don't, I can't do it. 
I cannot do it. My hands don't move fast enough. My brain, it's just too much going on. This made me realize with my personal experience, me then reading the 12 week year that addressed multitasking and why multitasking does not work, why multitasking completely ruins goals. I completely understand and I agree. And I'll tell you why. And we're going to go through exactly why multitasking is bad and then what we can do. Multitasking is bad because it actually decreases productivity and it increases the room for human error. From experience, let me know anything in the service industry, right? So if you've actually gone out to a restaurant and the restaurant, it's, it's not as crowded, your waiter or waitress, they're very attentive to you. They make sure your, your glass always is full. Your food comes out right away. They ask, they have conversation with you because the restaurant is not full. Now, as a, as a server, right? If the restaurant is full, they have multiple tables. So at that particular time, once they have multiple tables at that point, the level of service that they're able to provide you significantly decrease. Like, let's be honest, because they do not have it's not humanly possible to still give the level, the same level of service to one table if you have five, right? If you have everybody asking you to do something different, if you have somebody's food that did not come out right, if you have somebody now that's wanting to pay, if you have other people that need refills, multitasking just does not work. So when it comes to personal goals and when it comes to fulfilling your goals, in the 12 week year book, it discuss multitasking and what you can do that's even better than multitasking that can help you increase the likelihood of you accomplishing your goals. And that is you need to start blocking time. So what do you mean by blocking time? You need to each and every week schedule your time to be as effective as possible. So the very first block that we want to discuss is the strategic block, right? So the strategic block is uninterrupted time. This is the time where you are completely zoned in and focused on your goals. You during this time, you're either creating or you're executing, you're executing on the things that will move the needle forward on your goals. So for example, right? So me, I'm a creator, right? So I do have a job. So on Wednesdays, which I'm doing right now, I do not work. So I have Wednesdays off. So Wednesdays is a day that I schedule my strategic block three hours at a time. So from 10 to one, it's my time to go in full creator mode. I am recording a YouTube video as I'm doing right now. I'm also planning my other YouTube video that I'll post later on this week. I am looking at my YouTube analytics. I'm also looking at the things that I can do better that can move the needle forward, really dialing in. I want you to know doing the strategic block, I mean, there's no interruptions, that's no phone calls, that's no emails, that's no social media. Anything that's unimportant can wait during the strategic block of time. This is particularly for you and doing what it is you have to do to move the needle forward for you to accomplish your goal. The next block of time you will want to schedule is your buffer blocks. Everybody knows things happen, right? We can't stay in complete zone and strategic mode all day long because we do have those routines that we need to get done. Phone calls, emails, just constant tasks that we need to complete, right? So these these particular tasks are what you will schedule within your buffer block. Use the buffer blocks, plan it out in the calendar, write it down when you're gonna make this phone call, when you're gonna send these text messages, when you're going to catch up or plan a lunch day, when you're gonna do all this. You use this within the buffer blocks of time. So that is what you'll schedule within your buffer blocks. The last block that you'll want to schedule, which is your breakout blocks. So if we're putting all this energy and time into accomplishing our goals and doing what it is that we need to do to completely change our life, we need to also schedule breakout blocks. So what is a breakout block? A breakout block is a block of time that you use to, that's your free time. That's the time you use to rejuvenate and to recharge. This could be time for you to read. This could be time for you know you to just decompress, watch your favorite TV show, watch your favorite YouTube video. Um, you can just sit there, you can take a walk, you can exercise. You could do those things that you enjoy doing during your breakout blocks, but be mindful, do not schedule too many breakout blocks to the point where it becomes that you are being more 
unproductive than productive. Another key tip that was mentioned in the book that I found most helpful as well is to be mindful of the time of day where you perform your best. I know for me, I perform my best within like mid mornings after six o'clock, getting Terry to do anything like that's really requires extreme focus and things like that. It's, it's a no go for me because at that point my tank is empty. So it wouldn't make sense for me to schedule a strategic block 6 PM or later because I'm just not as focused. I'm not performing my best. So keep that in mind when you do schedule your strategic blocks, make sure it's at a time of day that you are performing your best. So I know y'all, y'all probably are like, okay, Terry, with the job, I really don't have a say so whether or not I multitask or not because it's just the responsibilities of the job. And you're absolutely correct. I'm not making this video to tell you to go against completely what the job is intending and telling you to do, absolutely not. This video is particularly for your own personal and your own business goals that you want to achieve in your life instead of spreading yourself thin, I know you probably heard of the saying, right? The jack of all trades, a master of none. That's true, y'all. If we continuously try to focus on all of our goals at the same time, literally incrementally, we are, we're doing something on the goals, but none of the goals we actually accomplish because we aren't zoned in. So if you made it this far in this video, I hope it was helpful. I hope it gives you information and an alternative to multitasking if you've been feeling like you know what i just haven't been a great multitasker and it just seems like in this day and age this is what society requires it requires for us to split our brains in 10 to 12 different ways at the same time and humanly that is not how we are designed right you will accomplish more by blocking your time using the strategic blocks i know me personally i have accomplished so much more in just the first three weeks of 2024 when it comes to accomplishing my goals just by blocking my time right not trying to do everything at the same time not trying to while i'm at while i'm at work try to work on a youtube video scripting a youtube video or while i'm scripting a youtube video scrolling through social media trying to catch up on a movie it just doesn't work. I encourage you to try it in the upcoming week when you're watching this video. Try it in the upcoming week, block your time, and come back to this video and let me know if it was helpful to you. Like I do on this channel, when I experience something that helps me, it's only right that I bring it to the tribe. So you can try it and let me know if it helps you as well. On the path to doing what we were created to do, designing our lives that we want to live on our own terms and ultimately reach our highest level of happiness. If this is something that you're interested in, this is a good time for you to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far in the video that means that you like me and i absolutely like you as well also consider dropping a comment as well let me know if you are going to start strategically blocking your time and most importantly make sure you hit that subscribe button y'all hit that subscribe button so you can join the terry shower catching a major vibe because we'll be coming back with another video let's go